The MLB race is down to a tight wire right now, and I'm going to have this guy, Mark Freund, discuss everything about that here on The Sports Cycle. Welcome to the Sports Cycle. I'm your host, Donnie Dwyer, alongside Mark Freund, a Minnesota guy, but also MUTV Sports Assistant Director. Mark, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you, Donnie? Very well. You're a baseball guy. You were in my fantasy league. You know, you came in second, had a great, great team this year. But let's talk about a little bit about the race. You talk about the American League. You had a team like Tampa Bay that was coming into the year saying, you know what, we're going to be a great team, we're going to try to finish for first, and then they took a little bit of laps. But in September, they've climbed all the way back to be two games back from Boston. Meanwhile, Boston was a team that started 0-10, was awful, and then got hot. What's going on with both these teams, and what's their mindset going into the final nine games? Well, really, what's, ha what's happened to Boston has been nothing short of devastating for them i mean you, you've got a guy like adrian gonzalez who was hitting amazing in the in the first you know half of the season he's taken steps back every single month and now i think there's something like four and 14 in this in the month of september they're reeling right now and they really need some help um if they don't get it soon tampa bay is gonna just pass them and say see ya and what's with Tampa Bay? You know, they've been hot. I think it's their pitching that's been coming up huge. But timely hitting, this lineup you thought wasn't going to be good. Manny was out, but then they insert Upton got hot, and then they bring up Desmond Jennings. What's with this little scrappy Tampa Bay team? Well, that is, that's exactly what they are. They're scrappy. I mean, like you said, you have Desmond Jennings, but you also have big hitters like Ben Zobris, who's you know starting to heat up. Matt Joyce mm -hmm. some, has gotten some big hits for this team, not only recently but throughout the whole year. So I think... Really, yeah, you you said that pitching has 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 carried them, but I feel like their hitting is what's going to take them farther. Okay, but in the end, who do you think is going to come out, the Boston or Tampa? I mean, I know I know Boston's reeling and they really struggled, but I, it's hard to go against a team with that much skill and that much talent on their roster, and you know, with a with a proven manager like Terry Francona. I mean, I know Joe Madden's done some great teams for the great things for that Tampa Bay team, but i got to give the edge to Boston. Okay. And switching over to the National League side, it's even tighter. Let's put it this way. you got three teams. you got San Francisco has won eight in a row and only three and a half back. St. Louis is only two and a half back, and they've been on a hot streak as of late. And then Atlanta has been on a cold streak. They lead that, but it's going down all the way tight. You know, this St. Louis team won two out of four against the Phillies. Three out of four, excuse me, three out of four. And now they're looking to even take over that spot. Who do you see finishing that, and what do you think of Atlanta in the month of September? Well, I think Atlanta is, is a team that you can compare to the likes of Boston, who's you know really struggled. But I think one thing that sets Atlanta apart from maybe some of these other teams, I mean, I know San Francisco is the defending champs, and you can't really count them out. But one thing that I think sets Atlanta apart is their bullpen. I mean, you've got... Venters, Kimbrell, and I can't think of the third guy right now. If you could help me out, Flaherty. No, Flaherty. There you go. Um, they've been nothing short of dominant this entire season, and I think one of the things that I mean, being a Twins fan the last couple of years, one of our downfalls has been bullpen. And I think that if you've got a bullpen, you can really be a contending team, and that's why I think Atlanta is going to hold on really and, and win the wild card. But do you see like a San Francisco coming out of nowhere, or do you see St. Louis giving them a run? Because St. Louis got some timely hitting, and they've been pitching well. Kyle Loesch yesterday outpitched Roy Holiday. What about that? Well, I don't, I don't think you can ever count out the the defending champs, like you said. But I mean, St. Louis. I mean, they look, they've looked pretty good the last couple of weeks. I mean, you you mentioned Kyle Loesch. They've also got um, uh, Carpenter, who's been pitching well, and so I mean, I think anything can happen, but. I just don't see St. Louis having enough in the end. I mean, even though they've got pool holes, I just don't see it happening. We'll see if the Braves take their uh, hammering Hanks and uh, take down that wild card. But one last topic, the Yankees. Mariano Rivera yesterday against your Minnesota Twins right there, buddy. Uh, gets saved 6-0-2 to come all-time in the saves leading. 
talk about him and also what it's like to be a Minnesota fan who has to know that if you're in the, when you're in the playoffs, you got to go against number 42 out on the mound. Yeah, he's a he's a great player. I mean, what can you say about the guy? He's a he's a Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame pitcher, Hall of Fame person, from what I understand. And I mean, he's just done it for years. He's been so consistent and just dominant in that closer position. Honestly easily could say the best closer of all time now I mean you can officially say that now that he's got the record but I think he's been on top for a long time and uh, just knowing for example what he's done to the twins in the last 10 years he's been around it's been unbelievable I mean it's been devastating for someone like me but man he's a great pitcher and this guy's a great interviewer here on the Sports Cycle. For more on the Yankees or anything you want about baseball, log on to the website, www.thesportscycle.com. I'm your host, Donnie Dwyer. Good night, folks.